Hey, what's good, YouTube? I go by the name of Big Boy Tracks, and I want to welcome y'all to the producer's life. This is episode one, beat making video number one, and hopefully many more to come in the future. Last night, I started watching Stranger Things season two, and I was listening to the theme song of it, man. It's got that old school 80s analog synthwave vibe. You know, I thought it'd be dope if I make a beat in that same lane, but instead of making it just a straight synthwave track, we make it into a trap style. We call it Stranger Things in the Trap. Now right here, as y'all can see, I got the Prophet Rev 2, and that's gonna be the main instrument of choice that we're gonna use. And this really gives us that 80s analog vibe. So let's hop into this video, let go. That sound pretty cool, that sound pretty cool. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use that string right here. Well, it's not really a string. Actually, I don't know what the hell it is, but <laughs> that's what we're gonna go ahead and use. So I'm about to go ahead and go into the montage and add like a synth slash bell. I might use like an FM pad, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. So I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with that bell slash pad. Um, it's actually it's called Heaven for You in the montage. So we're gonna go ahead and use that in there. I like it's got, it's got like a kind of a creepy, like a creepy vibe to it. So that's that's really gonna set this off. Yeah, that, that's fire. That's fire right there. I'm liking the way the track is sounding right now. I don't want to add too many more elements to this track because you can overcrowd a track and you won't give the artist uh, room to breathe. You can just add layers on layers. I could feel myself wanting to add more and more, but it's got to be a point to where you got to stop. So next, I'm about to just go ahead and add the drums in there and see what that sound like. Let go. trying to find uh, an 808. I'm not sure if I want to use one or not because the arpeggiator that's already in there is kind of bottom heavy and I don't want the, I don't want the, the 808 in that to clash so I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to do so I have to take out some of that uh, low end on the arpeggiator sense.
I don't think I'm gonna add any more sounds to it. I don't wanna clutter it up. Like I said earlier, you still wanna give room for the rapper to breathe, the artist or whoever to get on there to breathe. So it came out pretty dope. Y'all let me know what you think. I think it came out pretty dope. Now I'm probably gonna um, make the drums a little bit better. Gonna spice it up with the actual finished product, but there you have it so far, man. We're gonna wrap this up, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up. Hit your notification bell. Go ahead and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. We will be back. Hopefully, uh, an everyday thing. But as for now, it might just be, you know, every other day, every two days. So make sure y'all subscribe, man. Show, show, show your boy some love. The next video will probably be longer. This one's short. I didn't want to, like, do too much on the first video. So if you guys have any uh, suggestions or different ideas or type of beats you want to make, go ahead and drop it down in the comment section and let me know, man. We out this peace. Peace.